Hello guys, I am here at Cedar Point for the last weekend of Hollow Weekends. Here by myself doing a solo trip. So come join me, won't you? So yeah, Hollow Weekends ends tomorrow. Uh, boo, I'm gonna miss it. I love Hollow Weekends at Cedar Point. Uh, I'm here by myself, Kristen has work to go to and she has a Christmas or Christmas Halloween party to go to this evening. Uh, it is a breezy, breezy cool day here. It's supposed to rain all day. I'm not sure when the rain's going to start. So we're going to go uh, check out some shows, uh, do indoor stuff, try to stay dry, but still have some fun. That's the plan at least. Well, since it's not raining and we always traditionally start ourselves with a roller coaster, a roller coaster it is. I want to do a bunch of roller coasters now because when it starts raining, they'll probably all shut down. So I'm just gonna go down the row and see how many I can do, starting with the corkscrew. Okay, just got off the corkscrew, and it was a great starter ride. Rode it in the back seat this time, got a lot of airtime for a small coaster like that. I loved it. Speaking of airtime, we're going to go on with a lot more airtime, the Magnum XL 200. We'll see you there. Well, boo, Magnum XL is down. That's no fun. So what we'll do instead is we'll turn, walk this way, and go on Gemini. One we haven't been on since the very beginning of the year. I'm going to see if I can ride it front row. I'm pretty sure it can. It looks like it's a short wait. Gemini, five minute wait. That's what I love to see. Uh, we're going to be able to just go on a couple roller coasters, three or four probably, right off the bat. Get them knocked out while it's not raining, which is perfect. That's kind of the plan. That way when it is raining, we do inside stuff. And when the evening comes, we can do Halloween stuff. Everything's working out perfect so far. Well, Gemini in the front row was awesome. It did start to sprinkle just a couple times. Uh, that kind of hurts, uh, but it was great. I was really hoping to ride, uh, oh, and it's up. I didn't think it was up, it was down earlier. I'm gonna try to get on Steel Vengeance. I haven't ridden that yet, ever. Steel Vengeance, a ride I've not ridden since it opened. This was the old mean streak that they uh, improved on. Made it higher, made it faster, put some barrel rolls in there. Heard it's a great ride. I'm going to try it out today. Well, Steel Vengeance wasn't meant to be for me this year, apparently. Uh, the line's like 90 minutes long. We still have at least an hour to go in it. It's starting to sprinkle pretty good. I doubt it's not gonna rain the next hour. This thing's gonna go down. I'm not wasting my time. We'll go check out some other things. So we are here at Palace Theater, and one show we haven't seen yet is this Whistling Willie's Western Wake. That's supposed to be a great show. Uh, since it's gonna start raining, might as well go inside and relax for a little bit. Check it out. really enjoyed that show. That was really cool. Uh, not my favorite show. Happily Never After is still my favorite show. In fact, we'll go watch that probably once or twice today. Uh, but yeah, it was a great show. Probably at this point, my second favorite show for the fall season. Uh, while we were in there, it, it's continued to rain. It's raining now, uh, but not super hard. So I'm gonna go uh, to whatever I'm gonna go do next. I'm not sure yet. I gotta figure something out. Well, I've made a quick stop to get a drink. And then I also went to the restroom. I'm actually kind of thinking, since it's not raining super hard, we should do another ride. Uh, I'm actually thinking uh, maybe Skyhawk. Go way up there and uh, get pelted with some rain. Sounds like fun, right? Well, I'm going to do it. Oh, that was great. It was cold and the rain hurt, but it was a blast. Uh, since I'm already getting wet, I'm already cold, and already been pelted with rain, we're going to go on another roller coaster. Cedar Creek Mine Ride. Don't mind if I go on it. In fact, 10 minute wait, no problem. Well, the mine ride behind me 
was so much fun. I love it. it kind of hurts a little bit. They really jam you in there. It really jerks you around, but it's a good, good classic roller coaster. I love it. Uh, what I think we're going to do now is uh, try to warm up, go in the Town Hall Museum a little bit, check some things out in there, start working my way towards the front of the park so I can go to my car, warm up again, uh, get a jacket on, stocking cap, get ready for this evening. Also got to grab some food somewhere in here too, so I'll figure that out also. Well, it was a good idea at the time, but the museum is closed for renovations. Uh, they're actually setting up a bunch of uh, 150 year anniversary things in here for next year, I believe. But the uh, model of Steel Vengeance is still here, which is super cool. I also love this big uh, Connects Ferris wheel back there. Uh, it is warm in here. I'm going to stay in here, just hang out, check out the model for a little bit, and then get back out there and uh, move on to our next thing. Well, guys, some time has passed. I went to uh, Red Garter Saloon, met up with Mary Jo and Phil. You remember from whatever video that was. That's not a video that right. was. It was a video at some point. Uh -huh. uh, ran over, ran Seal Vengeance for the first time. Uh, his, like, gazillion time. My first time ever. Uh, loved it. It's such a great coaster. I mean, I loved Mean Streak when it was Mean Streak, but not a Steel Vengeance. Oh my gosh. Agreed. Uh, it is great. Uh, probably best coaster here. Although I still haven't rode. Uh, what haven't I rode yet? Top Girl, Jackson. I haven't rode Top Girl, Jackson yet. But so far, that's my favorite. Ooh, okay, guys. Uh, I'm going to apologize now for the choppiness of this video. Uh, I think the last clip I did was walking back from Steel Vengeance. Uh, I got an awesome photo. I'll put that in here. And I also got an awesome kind of short clip of us going down the hill. I'll put that in here. Uh, then we went back to the Red Garter Saloon, hung out there, uh, dried off, uh, warmed up. Now, put the back of the car. I am soaked if you can't tell. I'm going to change my shirt, uh, change my socks, get my coat, get my stocking cap get warmed up, dry off a little bit, head back inside the park, grab something to eat. Yeah, I just, uh, yeah, I just soaked. I had to change clothes. Uh, it is pouring out right now. I'm hoping as I sit in here, it uh, slows down just a little bit. We'll see. Uh, but uh, if the rest of the vlog is a little bit choppy, I do apologize. I'm going to try to be vlogging clips in and out of doing things. Uh, but with the rain, I can't really vlog in the rain. You guys get it. You guys understand. You know what I'm talking about. So yeah, uh, next time you see me, I'll be wearing different things, and I'll probably head back into the park. Okay, clean shirt, dry shirt I meant, coat, hat, clean socks, dry socks, it's good to go back in. Plus, the rain slowed down a little bit. Let's get this evening going. So the rain slowed down just a smidgen. I think we're going to try to uh, do Millennium Force. Uh, why not? Best water ride in the park. Yep, best water ride in the park. I don't know. Still Vengeance is a good water ride too. Oh my goodness, that was a blast. It was cold. We were getting pelted. I mean, pelted with rain. But it was a blast. Love that ride too. You know what time it is now. My favorite show at Cedar Point. As you know, I love that show. It was great to actually just get to sit there and listen to it, not film it or anything. Uh, the clip you seen was all I filmed. Uh, but now I'm getting hungry. I still haven't got anything to eat. I can see my camera's getting wet. It's still raining, although not as bad as it was before. It's really slowed down. Uh, I'm actually hanging out at the Red Garter Saloon because we have a little thing going on tonight uh, that we'll, well, we'll find out tonight. Uh, I don't want to say anything too loud because people might hear and they don't want anyone to know anything. Uh, I'm actually thinking I'm going to walk over here to uh, Hand Express. 
something I typically don't eat, but I don't want to roam around too far. Do I want Panda Express behind me? Or do I want uh, Chick-fil-A up the up the way here? I don't know. We'll find out. It's starting to pick up rain, so I'm thinking just Panda Express. Holy crap, I was not expecting that much food. That is a lot of food. Of course, I won't eat the broccoli, but man, that's a pretty good price for a theme park. I think $12 for all this. Not too bad for a theme park. Well, guys, just as an update on my evening, it is still raining. It is miserable out here. It's raining, it's windy, it's cold. Yeah, so we're just hanging out at the Red Garter Saloon. We were watching Happily Ever After again. Then, maybe then, I think there might actually be a break in the rain where we can actually go do something like other than walking around the saloon because I don't want to get soaked. So we'll see. If not, we'll just hang out here and then after uh, the last showing of Happily Never After, we're going to have a surprise for someone. So yeah, it's gonna be fun. Even if it is boring for now, it'll still be fun. Okay, it has stopped raining long enough for us to go on Millennium Falcon. Uh, and I'm going with Adam. Adam has ridden this 17,799 times. So I get to go on it with him the 17,800th time. So what a milestone. Uh, that is awesome. So yeah, uh, we'll get a picture as always and put it in as always and uh, go from there. Maybe we'll go uh, check out some haunted stuff. I don't know, it is freezing out. I will tell you that. Oh, I love the Millennium Force. Such a great coaster. Uh, I would compare Millennium Force to, say, Mako at SeaWorld. If you got to ride Mako at SeaWorld, you know what Millennium Force is like. It's about the same height and everything. Great, great, great ride, love it. Uh, since it's not raining, I'm gonna go down uh, to the scare zone, check that out real 72. quick before I head back uh, to the Red Garter, catch another show, because I love that show. Trail of the Forsaken. We'll see what they're doing now that the rain has stopped. If they're doing anything. Doesn't look like they're doing much. Uh, the jumper wasn't there. Uh, they're trying to fog it, but it's not working well. They have your sauce? Hi. I'm hungry, I need sauce to eat. I, I'm not tasty. <laughs> Couple scare actors, but not much going on, is which I figured. That's why it's better just to hang out at the Red Garter and stay warm. whirlwind of events uh, I don't know what I filmed what I didn't film I think last I talked to you we went on Millennium Force uh, oh maybe I walked through the scare zone and nothing was happening and it was quite boring uh, yeah uh, today is Bill's birthday that's why we were singing happy birthday to Bill the whole cast of happily never after came out and sung with us so that was super cool uh, then we went back and rode Millennium Force again 
we do that before we sung? I don't remember anymore. Everything's so mishmashed. Uh, so you'll get pictures uh, of me riding Millennium Force. <laughs> it was a horrible day to be at Cedar Point weather-wise to ride rides, but it was a great day to be at Cedar Point uh, to be with friends and hang out and do cool uh, rides, roller coasters, got to ride Seal Vengeance for the first time. It was a great day. Now I'm coming in here. I gotta buy a Christmas present if they're still open. So I can't record that. Well, mission not obtained. Uh, I couldn't find the shirt I wanted and the size I wanted. I know I'm gonna get yelled at for that, uh, but I'll make it up to her. I'll find something better for Christmas. Uh, luckily, the rain has stopped just in time for the, uh, the walk out of the park, which is good. I'm glad it stopped to walk out of the park. Uh, but I wish it would have stopped so we could have rode some rides and did some uh, haunted attractions. Oh well. It was a fun solo day here at the park. Like I said, hanging out with friends and stuff. Wish Christians could have been here, but she couldn't have. I wish this wasn't the last day at Cedar Point this year. Boo! I mean, they're open tomorrow, but we won't be here. Oh well. All good things must come to an end. And this year's season at Cedar Point is coming to an end for us. Uh, but we will be back next year. So, with all that just mumble, jumbo, ramble talk that I just did, I'm gonna call it a day. Hit the car, turn the heat on, and make my two hour drive home. So I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye guys.